All right, everyone, welcome to Short and Sweet Coloring Secrets Part 2. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a trick that I do whenever I'm uh, trying to adjust the overall balance of, of color on a page. And uh, it really helps when you've got certain lighting situations. Like, for example, this scene takes place at night. And so I really don't want a lot of, you know, local color. Uh, and, and local color are just the, the base colors as if a, a white light was shining on them or they were in the sun. Uh, you know, so at night we don't want things to be this saturated. We don't want things to be uh, local color. We want to push them a little bit more toward the blue spectrum. So... Again, really simple trick here. Uh, I've got the ink slayer. I've got the flat slayer. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate the flats. And I'll just call this, let's see, we'll call it adjusted flats or adjust flats. Because we'll, that's what I'm going to be changing those. I'm going to save the local color just in case I ever want to go back to that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to set this layer to color. And actually, to make my point, I'm not going to set it to color just yet. I'm going to leave it normal. And I'm going to fill it with this sort of medium darkish blue here with the bucket tool. And when the layer is on normal, you can see it fills everything with that color blue. And if I change the layer mode to color, then you'll see that everything takes on... Uh, that color, but it keeps the the original brightness. So the values stay the same and Then I'm just going to adjust the opacity of That color layer and all it is is that it's just filled with that blue color It's about halfway and Now you can see that uh, everything has kind of got a bit of a, uh, a Blue tint to it and there's still things you're going to need to go back and do and adjust like I want this red uh, in her jacket to come out a little bit more so I can bump the saturation up on that a little bit and bring that up a bit and skin tones and things like that may need to be adjusted uh, it doesn't work in all cases but but this looks pretty good but now I can actually go in and start rendering uh, either I can render under this blue layer or you can just uh, merge that blue layer back down so what I would probably do is actually just duplicate this again, call this color, or colors, and this is actually going to be my rendering layer. So, you know, if I wanted to do her skin, I could grab this skin color, which if you color pick this, you can see it's, it's really, it's a very, very extremely gray, but because of the tint of everything around it, it's actually, you know, appearing to look more like skin. So, make that selection, use the trick we learned in the last episode, so now it's on a new layer that I can't, can't affect anything except, except her skin here. So, you know, and, and there's a couple of ways, uh, you know, your, your, your lighting choice at this point really just depends, you know, if, if I wanted to, you know, keep this a little bit more, you know, bring in some of the actual color I would normally use, like in like an, uh, an orangish color maybe, you could do that if the, if the light was more white. Or you may could go grab a, you know, a blue color and, uh, and, and render that way. So, so there's lots and lots of ways to you know, experiment here. But uh, that'll give you a, a good way to sort of tie all your colors together, especially if your colors seem to be sort of all over the place and look like a mismatch of... Of, of colors and this sort of ties them all together a bit too so that's it for this week's video i'm going to attempt to do one of these a week for a while that's going to be a new uh, goal and i'm not sure if i'll be able to do it i'm, I'm coloring um hack slash number three as we speak and this is actually from that book so i am decided to use this as an example to give you guys something to go on and if you like these videos uh, please check out the links below for I, I do have a full coloring course, which you've probably seen by now. But if you go to the home page of the YouTube channel, you'll see a trailer for that there and the link to get 50% uh, off right now. So again, thanks for watching and we'll talk soon.